my channel my name is Tweet if you are new here welcome please subscribe today I'm filming in my new beauty setup I've got a backdrop I've got my little panel right here I feel so professional today I filmed this makeup tool using the brand new vault collection in collaboration with Jacqueline Hill I also featured quite a few new bits in this video so if you guys want to see how crazy this look please keep watching okay guys so let's get started oh I haven't filmed a video for so long please excuse me if I talk really weird and if I talk slow and I keep taking breath I'm sure I won't edit it out but I just had my titties done so I still have my breast band on I have to keep this on for about three weeks but I haven't filmed a YouTube video for so long so it's gonna be a bit of a chatty get ready with me I'm gonna start with a new product from Fasali this is the skin tune blur perfecting primer serum so today we're having a family gathering my house is going to get crazy in a second because there's loads of family that's coming around. Oh, this serum feels really nice. It actually feels really silky. You can use it as a primer and as a face serum. Just in the centre of my face, I am getting really oily recently. So I'm going to go in with the Huda Beauty Matte Perfection Makeup Base. This is brand new. I just know there's going to be so many bloopers in this video because people are starting to come. They're starting to talk very loud. If you guys have never been to a Vietnamese family going before. Videos people in general, they just talk so freaking loud. Oh, this feels so nice and silky. I haven't done my makeup in so long, it feels like, so this is gonna be so good. You know, sometimes you just love a good beat down, you know? Recently, I've been really loving more lightweight foundations rather than heavy, cakey foundations all over. I think it's because I haven't been wearing much makeup, so the feeling of putting on like a full beat, especially when I'm sitting at home, is a bit overwhelming. I'm gonna use the Backstage Dior foundations. I've got two shades here, I've got 3W0 and 2W0 but both are really nice and yellow based. I've been using this a lot recently and it's like a face and body foundation. If you love the face and body foundation from MAC you will love these because these are a bit thicker in consistency so it has a bit more coverage but not really cakey so it's a good medium coverage foundation. If you have oily skin like me I just cake on the powder. So I'm going to try in a slightly darker shade. I'm going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. This is what it looks like. I'm going to use a brush. I've been loving this brush from Tarte. I have no idea what this brush is called, but go ahead and try to find it and link in the description. I'm just going to buff this all over. And I love this because it does my foundation so quick. So guys, I recently have just dissolved my chin filler. So my chin before, I had quite a bit of filler put in there because I wanted my face to not look as round. I really liked it at first, and then over time, I don't know why, but it just started to look really weird. Sometimes I would like it in photos, sometimes I wouldn't like it in photos, especially when I got my buckle fat removal when I done my surgery, which my surgery vlog will be going up soon. I recently had buckle fat removal, and since then, that's when I thought that my chin just looked even stranger, because it looked extra long, because all the fat here was removed, so it just looked too sharp, if you know what I mean. So I went to read just park aesthetic and had it removed and then I'm also going to go back to just to put a little bit of filler in because I still feel like my chin is a bit short for my face I know so many people will be like your chin's fine you prefer that way and oh my god the amount of hate that I got when I showed up the before and after that's when all the hate start coming out and they were like your chin looked disgusting before I unfollowed you because of your chin and I was just like it's not that fucking deep bitch it's just a damn chin it's my chin not even your chin got it all dissolved and I just need to put a little bit more in but K at a Regents Park aesthetic is so so lovely so if you ever want any treatments or anything like that she's actually like a nurse she still actually works as a nurse but she's so lovely she's based in Wimpole Street so right next to Bond Street station she does the treatment where you use micro needling using your own plasma from your blood it's very very advanced so um yeah definitely check her out I'll leave her link down below in the description okay so I just put on my foundation and then underneath my eyes because this foundation doesn't give that much coverage I'm gonna go in with the Kevin Aquan Central Skin Enhancer in shade number 06 I I had this in shade 08 and I cannot find it anywhere. It's driving me nuts. So I'm going to go for a bit lighter for underneath my eyes. So I'm also going to grab a beauty blender, which is in this little tiny cute case. This is their new travel case and it's got holes in it so it doesn't breed mold and all that good stuff. And you can actually fit two beauty blenders in here. I'm going to put this just underneath my eyes. So I hope you guys liked my beauty room tour. If you guys haven't seen that yet of my new beauty setup, I'll make sure I leave it down below in the description or I'll link it after this video. But it was so nice to read all your lovely comments and you guys know how hard I've been working on this freaking room. It's been such a nightmare. There's still so many more things that I want to get done. But every day I come into this room and I just like sit here and relax and play with makeup, organise makeup. And it's so nice to know whenever I get packages, I know exactly where it 
can go, there's space for everything, there's space to expand. Also, when I was watching back that video, when I was watching the B-roll, the footage of my old setup, it actually made me think like, oh my God, how the hell did I actually live like that? It just takes me back to a time where life was just so stressful and I just felt so on edge all the time. And yeah, it was just so much. Like, every time I come in, I feel like so calm and zen and just so nice to have a place where I can work and then I'll go to the other room and that's where I go to relax. It's lovely. Okay, so I'm gonna set my face with two different powders. One all over my skin, which is the Airbrush Flawless Skin from Charlotte Tilbury. And then I'm gonna go and bake my face with the KKW Beauty Number no. 3 powder. Just dust this all over with a Real Techniques number one brush. This powder is really nice because it's super lightweight. It reminds me of like mineralized skin finishes from MAC. The only thing about this powder is that literally it has like no shade. It has three shades of powder. Like, come on Charlotte Tilbury, you can do a bit better than that. I've got a spot on my chin, it's so annoying. It looks like a walk. Actually, I think I'm gonna bronze first before I bake. So I'm gonna go with the Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer in Medium Deep. It actually smells like chocolate, it's great. I'm actually so hungry. And there's so much food downstairs and it's smelling the aroma. If you guys don't know, my father actually passed away 10 to 12 years ago. I personally wasn't that close to him, but every year, like Chinese, Vietnamese tradition, on the day that they die, they do like a whole thing where they burn like paper for clothing and then they invite all family around to have food and all that stuff so yeah that is today and we're having like all of my extended family and stuff come over i don't know why but i don't like having people in my house i don't even know if my extended family know what i do so whenever they come over I'm, they always I know, they get nosy and they ask all these questions and they just so like, cringe and you know but it's nice to catch up with family i need to be sociable every once in a while i guess <laughs> so i'm just using a morphe m 580 brush and I'm just going along and contouring my nose. God, my chin feels so short now after removing all my filler. I know some of you guys prefer it when I dissolve my filler, like when I dissolve my lips, some of you guys prefer it and stuff. And I'm just like, no, bitch. We're gonna bake a little bit with a KKW. I'm gonna go in my beauty blender. And then just blend out any creases and then quickly bake. So I just finished my eyebrows. I use the Brow Gal, my go-to convertible brow product. Look how much I use it, so dirty. If you guys want to see a full tutorial on how I do my eyebrows, make sure you go back on my channel because I have a full video on how to do like fluffy but Instagram-ish brows. Okay, so we're going to move on to the eyes next. I need to hurry up because things are popping downstairs. I'm so sorry if you hear like clashing, banging, people talking and stuff. It's just the household. Hold that living is crazy. So I'm gonna go in with the P. Louise Rumor Number no. Three Eyeshadow Base. I'm just gonna tap this all over my eyelid. So I know a lot of people are asking loads of questions about my surgery and stuff like that. So if you guys want me to film like a Q and A, I'm definitely gonna do maybe like an update, maybe like a month's time. I am about two weeks post surgery at this rate. So once I hit about four to six weeks, I'm definitely gonna do an update. But yeah, this was definitely my hardest surgery that I've had so far. It's probably the most painful one. Now I'm at the two week mark. I can see the light, but I remember on day two, day three. It was so, so hard. You guys will see that all in the vlog, I'm sure. But at the same time, like, I know when I was in the villa, a lot of people was like, oh my God, I'll never do this again. They was calling me and my sister crazy for doing the surgery again. But for me, like, even if it's painful, but I really want to do it, I'll still do it. Like, the pain, I feel, is only temporary. But the results that you get, it's just so worth it that it's worth that little few days of pain, you know? Okay, so I'm going to go in with the brand new Jaclyn Hill The Vault palette this is the version 2 that I recently got sent and it has four different eyeshadow palettes in here there's a lot of controversy going on at the moment about Jaclyn Hill and Morphe I like to try things myself these do say V2 on the bottom hopefully it's going to be the good good so we have Armed and Gorgeous here which is this really pretty like orangey it reminds me of like a safari or something very very cute eyeshadow palette and then we have bling boss which is this purpley eyeshadow palette and then we also have ring the alarm which is this eyeshadow palette here it's a bit more red and then we have dark magic which is probably one of my favorite palettes it's so beautiful i think you can buy these eyeshadows in a bundle or you can buy them separately as well and i think it's only like 15 dollars so when people complain about the quality and stuff like that i'm like 
dude, you're paying fifteen dollars. Like you can't expect to have like the softest eyeshadows in the world. You know, it is what it is. So I think I'm gonna go with the Ring Alarm eyeshadow palette because I don't want to do anything too crazy because I'm only staying at home. So the palette is super beautiful. I love the kind of like darker shades here. It's got really nice shimmery colors. It's also got really nice transition orangey warm colors as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the shade called On Camera. Okay, so I'm gonna pack this on my actual eyelid, just on the inner corners. How cute is this goddamn mirror? It's from Doll Beauty. It's actually tiny, but it's so cute and lightweight. A lot of mirrors that I have, sometimes they're really, really heavy, and it kind of aches my arm holding it up for so long. Because sometimes, honestly, my eyes can take me at least, like, half an hour to an hour alone just on my eyes. Also, because I've been cleaning so much of this room, the other room I've been neglecting so badly, because this room's, like, all done. I'm like, fuck the other room. I'm not doing any more work in the other room. But we still have to buy a whole new wardrobe which is so expensive i know a lot of people don't talk a lot about money but i've been spending so much money recently guys it's been <laughs> such a nightmare obviously this room is so expensive to do all new flooring and paint and my cabinet alone cost me probably like over 800 pounds i also just bought a new imac as well for ground when he edits because he has a little workstation in our room now that i have this room so he's got like a desk and everything i wanted to get him like a really nice piece of of new technology so it motivates him to edit even harder that was so expensive we actually customized it so we kitted it out and that cost me like nearly three thousand pounds so expensive for a freaking computer and then i also really want to buy a drone as well guys that like, i love it when i watch vlogs and they just have the most amazing drone shots so that's next on my list to buy okay so i'm gonna go in with the morphe m513 brush and i'm gonna go in this shade called mug shot i'm just gonna work this out on the outer corners so what else has been happening with me i also have something very very exciting that's coming out in october the end of september i'm so excited to tell you guys i've been working on it since the start of this year so i can't believe that it's come around so quickly that i literally cannot believe it's september already like where did august go I'm also going to go in with a bit of Rush, which is slightly lighter, and then I'm just blending it a bit higher. So I'm just going in with a blank canvas E25. This is just a bit bigger, just to help buff everything out. So, oh no. Oh my god, this had eyeshadow on it already. Now it made everything all muddy. This is why you need to clean your freaking makeup brushes. Okay, I'm going to go in with the My Kit Co. My Ultra Small Brush. I do have to say I'm so sorry that I've been so MIA in August. I have been travelling so much like a busy bee. I went to Ibiza and then I went to Turkey and then I went to Kenya and then went back to Ibiza. So it's been a pretty while but I'm not planning any more trips until the end of October. October now. Okay, I feel like this look is going a bit too orangey so I'm going to go in with a bit of siren and maybe a bit of secret. I'm just putting this a bit more closer to the crease just to deepen everything up. So yeah I've been so slow on my uploading schedule. I'm so sorry about that guys. It actually kills me inside and every time I think about it it makes me so like sad for my channel because I was growing quite well. I Think. and then when I stopped uploading as much obviously everything just started dropping and it's so so disheartening but obviously at the same time I'm I have to like balance everything so yeah I'm so sorry I took that little kind of break off it was actually really nice to not have to worry about uploading all the time and making sure i had this edited on time and then yeah it was just very overwhelming so i'm so glad that now i've had that little break i can actually settle down in london for a while before traveling again because i know from the outside it probably looks very exciting obviously it is very exciting that you get to travel loads and stuff but it's actually very exhausting like can you imagine going to all these different time zones and then also while you're there you can't really even relax it always work and you always have to be switched on you always have to wake up early have your makeup full beat have your outfits planned and then obviously when we're doing the excursion stuff it's always really nice but you have to think about getting content thinking about other paid stuff that also needs to get approved and having not good internet especially with three like Oh my god, so I signed up with three, the network, because I was like, oh yeah, you can use their network like nearly everywhere all over the world. No bitch, you can't use it in Kenya, you can't use it in Turkey. I only got it literally because you can use it while we're in LA, but so annoying having to always ask for like Wi-Fi everywhere. I just want to use my phone, you know? The eyeshadow is actually blending out really nicely. Um, I don't know if it's because of the eyeshadow base, 
But I actually had the eyeshadow palettes before and my one wasn't as bad. I had this one before and this one was really bad. How exciting is it that Morphe is going to be going into the UK stores? Like they bought out a UK website and everything before and then now they're actually going to have a store in Westfield Stratford. That's so exciting and I actually been to a Morphe store. I went to the Burbank one when I was in LA and it's actually so beautiful. It literally reminded me of Sephora, but it was just all Morphe product. Can I just say, why do we not have a Sephora in London yet? If you're a Sephora worker, you need to suggest that to bring Sephora over to the UK, okay? Okay, so just underneath my eyes, I'm going to go in with a flat definer brush from Makeup Addiction, but any flat liner brush would do. And we're just going to go in with Secret, which is the dark brown. And I'm just going to line this just underneath my lash line, just to help buff everything out. And then I'm just going to go in with a little bleach London brush, and it's a bit more like a pointy blending brush. So the other day I was talking on Snapchat and Insta stories about it. I actually had a online kind of consultation with a nutritional therapist and it was actually so interesting because I don't know anything about fitness. I don't know anything about nutritional health. I'm probably one of the most pickiest eaters you probably ever meet. There's a lot of stuff that I don't eat. Like I don't eat seafood really. I eat prawns. That's really it. Especially when I deep fry I even better. I don't like red meat. I don't like cheese. I don't like coffee. So I don't really like anything that's bitter or really chewy. I literally only eat chicken and maybe like a little bit of pork. She was just telling me like all the stuff about my diet and she was also telling me things that I have a hormone imbalance. Because I have the contraceptive implant in my arm. I've had this for, this is my third one. So it'll be like nearly nine years when it's, this one's up. And she was just saying how like it's so much better to just to try to go all natural and all that stuff. But she did say that she actually had someone who decided to go off the implant and she got pregnant like within the first month can you imagine if that was me oh my god that would be terrible i actually used to think that i never wanted kids and then sometimes when i meet kids when they're like two years old when they start talking it's like the hugest thing ever it makes me a little bit broody i'm not gonna lie which i never thought i would even get broody no matter what age it is but i think it's so cute but then i also get like that around dogs as well so maybe i need to get like my own dog first or my own cat or something first this color is not going to be as dark as i want it to let's try using a pencil brush so the nutritional therapist that I talked to, her name was Kay, and she's from the You Need a Vicky team. It's like another franchise called You Need a Nutritional Therapist. The main reason why I talked to her is because I'm trying to heal my boobs as quick as possible. So she was telling me I need to take that like, arnica, I need to take zinc, I need to try rosehip oil. So there's loads of things that she said that she can cure by changing your diet and also taking supplements. But I just thought it was so interesting. Like honestly, we were talking for an hour and she was just so knowledgeable. So if you guys are interested, I'll leave all her details down below in the description so guys i went back to sammy and i am not a basic bitch anymore finger snaps finger snaps i have my nails back but they're a lot shorter than what i would normally go for but they're really nice ombre kind of finish and i love ombre so this is so classy okay so the other day i picked up this from debenhams and this is the kat von d lash liner this is a new different type of eyeliner look at the doe foot applicator it's very strange which is why i was like oh i have to pick this up so i'm gonna try this for the first time on camera because I love lining my bottom lash line and placing it right on the base of my lash. I haven't tried much stuff from Kat Von D at all. I just remember I went to a um, event with Kat Von D for the first time and I really, really didn't like that event at all. I don't know if I'm even meant to be saying this, but yeah, I just felt like people were just so rude at that event. There's so many stories, guys, that I wish I could tell you, but I feel like it's not really appropriate. So we're gonna have to keep that inside, but yeah, just think that sometimes when you go to these events or even these PR trips and you think they're so good but there's so many things you guys don't get to see so take it all with a pinch of salt guys okay should I do the bottom as well okay might as well okay so I'm just gonna line it on the bottom it's not really that black oh I don't know what I'm doing let me dip it back in okay so I'm not gonna wipe it off I'm gonna see what it's like actually straight from the top so weird putting something so inky close to your lash line like this what do you guys think so I'm going to line my top lash line with a liquid line. This is from Blink and it's an ultra thin liner. That is super, super thin. This is not even dark. Oh God, it's fucking dried out. Great! I've only used that once. Okay, I'm going to use a Marc Jacobs pen liner. Why is all my liquid liners so shit today? I'm not going to use that one. Let's go with the NYX Epic Ink Liner. This never fails me. This is always super black and inky and the nib is perfect. It's super 
fine. So mascara, I'm gonna use a brand new NARS Climax mascara. I've been loving this one. And then we'll put on lashes and I'll be back. Okay, so I just popped on my lashes and I use Mykonos lashes from Lily Lashes. So they're super nice and spiky. I think these are the second time I've worn these pair, but I like it when it's like the second time I use them. The dark eyeliner, it looks really good. Actually, I haven't done like a dark waterline in a long ass time. So I'm gonna go in with the Pretty Little Glow Powder from Dull Beauty. This is a new one. This is like kind of like a rose goldy powder. It has kind of like a two-tone to it. This one is a different type of golden glow. It's almost quite a yellowish highlight, which I don't know if I like. It's almost a bit too yellowy where it kind of goes a bit greeny, if that makes sense. Okay, so I'm gonna put on some blush. I've been loving the look of blusher recently. So I'm gonna use this new blusher from Laura Mercier. They just bought out a whole range of blushes. And I'm gonna use the shade in peach. This is gonna go on there. Apples. Normally, I don't really like too much blusher, but I've been loving the look of like a, a nice blush cheek. That glow. Oh, yeah. So on the lips, I'm going to go in with Morphe Coffee and Kissy Lip Liners. These Morphe Lip Liners are so, so nice and super creamy. So I'm just going to line the outer portions of my lip. My lips have been so dry recently. Oh my God, look how dry my lips are. I forgot to put a lip balm yesterday, I just literally knocked out and now this is what happens to me every time I don't apply lip balm the night before. And then on my lips I'm going to go in with the brand new collaboration with MAC. This is Jamie Genevieve's lipstick. I know Patricia Bright also bought a lipstick with MAC so congratulations to Jamie and Patricia. I've met them both loads of times and they're both so, so, so lovely. So congratulations ladies. I'm going to go for a nude colour so I'm going to go with Jamie's colour which is a really nice pale nude. This is a satin lipstick. And it's quite a nice nudey kind of shade. I'm going to quickly pop on some Skindinavia finishing makeup spray. Sometimes when I put the spray on, it smells a little bit like cat piss. Okay, guys, so that's it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys like this look and also enjoyed getting ready with me. I hope you guys are going to have an amazing week this week and also sending you the most positive vibes. I love you guys all so much. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, I would love it if you guys subscribe to my channel. And also, please turn on your notification bell. It's a little bell down below next to the subscription box because YouTube is not showing my videos on people's boxes for some reason. I don't know why YouTube fits up, but please turn on your little notification bell so you can get a notification every single time I upload. And also, if you haven't yet, please make sure you follow me on all my other social media platforms. It's just xTweely on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I upload on there very regularly. So that's it for this video, guys. Enjoy the bloopers. Bye. You guys like my new backdrop? Oh, fancy. Oh, yeah. Hold on a second. Why is the light all bent? My freaking family are crazy today. I'm filming! Let's go. Can you stop opening and closing that door? So fucking squeaky shit. Why didn't you close your own damn door? Okay, time to get some food because your girl is hungry.